Welcome to the Google Plus conversation with Al Gore and Jeff Skoll. I want to thank everybody who has been participating in this for the past week, and I'm really looking forward to responding to the questions live. How did the film An Inconvenient Truth change the public perception of climate change? About 30% of Americans thought climate change was a big issue. And in the year after An Inconvenient Truth came out, 87% of Americans felt that climate change was real and must be addressed. What grade would you both give President Obama in his efforts to combat climate change? I'd give him kind of a, a B, maybe a B minus. He's got a big decision coming up on the uh, XL pipeline. The hell with that. He ought to veto that. And then I hope that he'll get moving uh, to follow up on the wonderful pledges that he made. Great words. We need great actions now. In 10 years, will there be as many Teslas on the highway as there are Toyotas or Chevrolets today? In Musk, we trust. Yeah. Right, right. If you ask me what is the one most important thing we could do, it's real simple. We need to put a price on carbon. Collectively, we put 90 million tons of global warming pollution into the atmosphere every 24 hours. That's a lot of energy. That's why the temperatures have been rising. That's why there's so much more water vapor in the air now that causes these record downpours. And the same extra heat is drying out the soil. We can't continue to use the sky as an open sewer. Could you give us just a brief snapshot Mr. Gore, of what you think the world will look like in 2058? Well, the answer is in our hands. We can make choices that will determine the answer to your question.